Hey everyone, I'm here to do my In My Mailbox vlog of this week. In My Mailbox is hosted by Christy over at Storytime where we show what we got this week. Um, I got a nice amount of books in this week. Um, actually, I got a lot of books in this week. Um, it was my birthday on Wednesday the 17th and I ordered myself a box of books because I was all alone and I thought I should have something to um, open on my birthday. So. I got a lot of books from that and I got a couple of review books in, so let's get started. First I got a couple of things on my Kindle. Um, I got, um, let me see, Shadow Runners by Daniel Blythe. Um, this is about a girl who moves to um, a town at sea, I think, and she thinks she doesn't fit in and she feels like she's being watched. And then she's drawn to some kind of girl group. And honestly, I don't know too much about it, but it sounds cute. So, um, and the next one is Gravity Moon by uh, Kath Crowley. Um, I actually already read um, that one. It was really good. It reminded me a bit of You've Got Mail. Um, it's about a girl who is basically obsessed with a graffiti artist named Shadow. And she wants to meet him, but she, every time she gets a text saying, he's here, he's here, she's too late. And then one night, um, her friends uh, and she meet three guys. Um, and they are going to hang out. And the guys say they know Shadow. And um, so they take her, uh, take the girls all over town. And it's just, it's such a nice and lovely story. I really liked it. Um, then I got Ashes by, um, what's her name? Uh, Ilsa J. Bick, um, which is a dystopian and I don't, do not know too much about it. I've heard some things about, um, that it's basically two separate books. Um, somewhere in the middle, the, the, they skip into the future. And it's like you're reading a completely different book. So I've heard a lot of negative things about that that twi twist there in the middle. But I thought I'd give it a shot anyway. Um, and then I got He's After Me by Chris Higgins. And I already read that one as well. It's about a girl who feels like her whole life is falling apart. Her parents are divorced because... Or, well, her father... Um, has a relationship with a woman who is only nine years older than her and um, then she meets um, Jem and he's a lovely guy and they fall in love and they get a relationship and everything goes downhill from there because no I'm not gonna tell you that but it's a really good book I really liked it it has a deeper meaning than most of the YA's that I've read is basically a bit more love gone wrong than um, and they lived happily ever after. So I really, really like that one. And then I got a couple books for free from um, the Kindle store on Amazon. I got a sneak peek of The Elephant Plague by uh, Jeff Hirsch. Hirsch? Hirsch? I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Um, it looks like... Oh. I skipped it. Um, it's a dystopian. It's uh, about a guy who... Um... um is basically going all around the country, around the state, um, after the big collapse or something like that. There was an illness and um, basically the whole society fell down and now they are on the run for government people and stuff. Um, and there are three chapters in there and it stops where um, his father is willing to save two strangers and put their lives in danger. and which is really good and I'm really looking forward to the moment that my pre-order will come in because I really want to read it. Then I got Witches 101 uh, by Melissa de la Cruz which is a, some kind of prequel to the Witches of East End. Um, they tell you a little bit about the characters. And then I got Pride and Premiership by Michelle Gale. And that is the first six chapters I think in that book and I do not know anything about that one except for the fact that it's based on Pride and Prejudice. So, yeah, that's it for the ebooks. <laughs> Five minutes in, and I'm only talking about ebooks. Um, anyway, I have a nice box of books here. 
And the first book that I got is Numbers by Rachel Ward. And um, this is about a girl who can see the date someone dies in their eyes when I, when she looks into uh, that person's eye, uh, them eyes. But I cannot talk, I'm sorry. But she sees a number when she looks into their eyes and that's the date on which they will die. And then uh, one day they are in London and the, she sees that everyone around her has the same date. So um, they run, but because they run they are... Um, suspected to have something with a ter terrorist attack or something. It sounded really good and I thought I'd pick it up. I really like the cover. It's colorful. Um, so yeah, and then I got um, Forgotten by Cat Patrick. Um, this is about a girl who forgets her past but knows her future. And I thought it sounded really interesting. So I decided to pick it up. Then the next one I got is 0.4 by Mike Lancaster. Um, this is a sh oh the cover is so freaky. Um, it's about a guy who has uh, recorded his voice on audio tapes, and he tells you that everything we know is fake. I believe this is a dystopian, and it sounded good. I haven't heard too much about it, um, but it seems like a short read. It's not even 300 pages. Um, it looks freaky on the spine as well. But anyway, looking forward to reading this one as well. Um, then I got the entire uh, study series by Maria V. Snyder. I got Poison Study, Magic Study, and Fire Study. And I'm really looking forward to reading those. Um, I think they look really pretty together as well. Um, this is about a girl who um, is about to ex be executed for murder. Um, but the king's food taster dies and they offer her the role of food taster so she has to detect poison in the food of the king and um, she accepts that role and I haven't read the back of these two because I haven't read this one yet but it sounds really really good I've heard nothing but good, good things about this series so I'm going to read those soon then I got The Scorched Trials by James Dashner, and this is what I wanted the cover to look like. Um, this is the cover of The Maze Runner, and this is the cover of Scorched Trials. And I wanted this one to be as vibrant as this one, but oh well. Um, this is the sequel to The Maze Runner, um, second book in the trilogy. Um, last book will be coming out in October, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I've heard that this one is not as good as the first book. Um, but The Mason Runner is basically about a guy who wakes up in a, an elevator and he gets um, sucked into a small kind of society run by teenage guys like him. Uh, they all have no clue where they came from because all their memories are wiped. Um, they know certain things but they can recall um, names and places and all that kind of stuff. And the place where they live is surrounded by a maze and... Every day, um, the runners go into that maze and try to find an exit. And that's basically what the story is about. And this is the sequel. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Because the last two pages in um, the first book were kind of a cliffhanger. So, definitely looking forward to reading this one. Um, then I got Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick. Which is the sequel to Hush Hush. Hush Hush looks like that. And... My covers will not match anymore because this one has some kind of holographic finish. My old one is completely matte, but it doesn't matter. This is the second book in the series, also a trilogy. Last book, Silence, will be coming out later this year, I think. Um, it is about a girl who meets a guy who um, turns out to be a fallen angel. That's basically the plot line. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to reading this one. I got a couple of people asking me why the heck I haven't read this book yet. So yeah, going to read it soon. It's time. Then I got Blackout by Sam Mills. This is about a world, dystopian world, in which books are forbidden. And um, when you read... Or not all books are forbidden, but um, most books are forbidden. They only allow fluffy, happy, everyone lives happily ever after um, books. And um, 
books like Harry Potter and stuff are forbidden in this world and um, the main character in the story has a father and his father um, helped hide a terrorist and no he helped write helped hide the writer of a book that is considered to help have helped terrorist attack um so yeah it sounds really really good i haven't heard anything about this one to be honest i found it when i was looking at my amazon recommendations it sounded good so i thought i'd pick it up and then the last one in my birthday order is the giver by lois lowry i think that's how you pronounce it this is a new cover um i believe the uh original book is pretty old um but i cannot find oh right uh 1993 so it's um not exactly recent but i really like this cover it's a new cover um this is about a dystopian world um and in, there is no pain, no hunger, no war, nothing until um, the main character is picked as um, the receiver of memories so he's the only one who will get the memories from the last receiver of memories and he discovers that the whole society isn't as good as it appears to be um, I read a couple of reviews about this one um, couple weeks back I think um but I haven't really seen a lot of attention to it maybe because it's so old um but I'm really really looking forward to reading this one the old cover had an old man on it and I've seen that one in store quite quite often to be honest and I thought it was an adult book I thought it was boring so yeah what a cover can do for a book um so yeah I'm really looking forward to reading this one as well and then I have a book that I haven't mentioned in my email mailbox when it got in. I actually got it in two weeks ago, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. Um, it's Original Sin by Lisa Des Rogers, I think. This is the second book in the Personal Demon series. I haven't read the first one yet, but I ordered these together. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading it. I'm not going to look at the back. And I got a little bookmark with it. So that's all that I got in terms of books, but I got something um, something else as well. I'm so excited about this. I, I needed a new hoodie. It was so cold around here in the beginning of the month um, that I was wearing my... I have only one nice hoodie and I was wearing that almost every day and I thought I need a new one. But it was August, so why the hell would I order a new hoodie? Until I saw that Courtney Ellison Moulton has um, merchandise in her uh, store. And I thought, I need a new hoodie anyway, and I like Will, so... What you get is a Will hoodie. It's massive, I know, I wasn't aware that it was unisex. So, I ordered... I want, I want it to be comfy, so I ordered it... Yeah... Not too large, but when I got it in, it I think I could have um, ordered the small one. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. I'm not sure if you can see. This is Will. Ain't he handsome, hmm? Um, but the hoodie itself is massive. I think I fit in here almost <laughs> two times. Um, but it's really comfortable. Um, it has fleas on the inside. Um, and I've worn it a couple of nights now and it's so comfy and yeah, I really like it. But next time I order one of these uh, hoodies, um, I'll make sure that I order it in a smaller size. Pretty, huh? I'm really happy with this one. So yeah, that's all that I got in my mailbox this week. I'm actually waiting for a couple more things to come in but the mailman skips my house every day so I thought I'd record my email mailbox anyway um make sure you check out the blog this week I have my birthday bash that I'm celebrating um you can win awesome prizes there's a youtube video uh, giveaway as well so check that one out as well so yeah I think that's it for this week
Let me know in the comments below what you got in your mailbox this week, and I'll talk to you guys later.